interest rates have gone up a lot and that means that the environment is changing completely. Hey guys, what is happening and welcome to this video. So in this video, I am literally right now at a spot that I came to about six months ago. And actually, I tried to film some videos but realized I forgot my mic, it was really windy, and anyway, I didn't get to filming it. But basically, there was just tons and tons of units that are empty. So all those units that you can see back there, they're empty. There's a Tim Hortons there, and even that can't attract the people. And then you've got this unit here that's empty right on the end. Guess what? Right by it, they are constructing this massive facility right here. This huge, huge facility. So like you need any more commercial real estate, you've already got a surplus of industrial and commercial real estate. And literally, they're building more and more of it. Why is that? Why is that happening? That's the thing, that's the question that I want you to ask. And I want you to ask the question also, where is that money coming from? Because the thing is, guys, when you think about commercial real estate and the collapse, and I know it's not as glamorous as residential real estate, everybody likes to talk about residential real estate, but the reality is, with commercial real estate, you've got all these things that are going on right now that make it a terrible, terrible investment. You've got the fact that all these businesses are going bankrupt. You've got the fact that interest rates are so high, it's just an awful, awful time to actually be basically investing in this sort of stuff. And it literally just sits empty, just like this building right here, it's empty. And after this, I'm gonna be going to a 40,000 square foot building that is empty, kind of like the one behind me. So it begs the question, they're literally 10 minutes apart. Why on earth are they building a massive 40,000 square feet facility right here? And literally over there, there's one that's empty. And then you've got all these buildings here that are empty and then you've got the ones over there and there's a co-op gas station i forget what this is called something crossing in case you're wondering here in calgary but yeah that gas station has been open for over a year the buildings still aren't filled you know i i get people comment on some of the videos they say hey luke it's just because it's new it's gonna fill up what are you talking about you're just fear-mongering whatever and i'm just like what are you talking about like there is this stuff is everywhere guys you know the fact is they say there's like a 30 35 percent vacancy rate it hit a new all-time high just a month ago here in calgary but the thing is when you look around it's not just downtown literally everywhere every time you have like a a strip of commercial real estate like this here or industrial real estate you just see signs where the signs have been on the wall and they've been took off and took away and and that is just the fact of what's happening guys you know to to not accept this is just ludicrous what you've really got to wonder is this is literally a financial crisis you are staring at a financial crisis in the making. They're making all these buildings for what? There is a total oversupply. Who is financing all these buildings? Because these, these builders don't just have the cash to splurge on like a hundred million dollar facility or whatever it is. They don't have that cash. They're going to the banks. The banks are giving them construction loans to do it. And what happens when they can't fill those buildings and they're stuck trying to pay these huge loans with massively high interest rates? And the thing is, they could have broke ground on this in 2020, for example. And in 2020, or even last year in 2021, interest rates were way less than they are right now. So when you think about that, that also presents another question, doesn't it? Because 
interest rates have gone up a lot and that means that the environment is changing completely. With that being said, you're going to see all these things take a turn for the worse. There is going to be a financial crisis. It's undeniable at this point to say the least. But the thing is, you cannot just have all these commercial real estate projects, all these residential real estate projects going on when nobody is really buying. And that is just especially evident in commercial real estate. What people don't understand is that will translate through into everything else. Even if there was a banking crisis because of commercial real estate, that would have a massive knock-on effect on new businesses because they wouldn't be able to get startup loans. The banks wouldn't want to lend. And everybody who wants to buy a house, well, guess what? The bank doesn't want to lend to you anymore. They want you to put a bigger down payment down. So the reality is, guys, that this has huge implications, which nobody is really talking about. And really, it's the elephant in a room as I see it. Because the thing is, this commercial real estate collapse has been happening for a couple of years, pretty much, since the Cerveza sickness. But the overbuilding has just now become so evident because it makes zero sense. When you've got all these units that are sitting empty, why the heck are you building all these facilities? And all these facilities are aimed at small businesses. Who do you think is starting up a small business right now? And, and don't get me wrong, like I think anybody starting a business is a fantastic thing to do, but when you look at interest rates and when you look at what's going on right now, you have to wonder about how on earth it makes any sense to do it right now. Because when you start a business, a lot of businesses have to take out loans to do that. And if you're taking out loans and financing, the interest rates are so high, it just makes it so tough to survive as a new business. After five years, 80 to 90% of all small businesses fail. So that is the failure rate. So it's an insane amount of people that are losing businesses after that amount of time. So most new businesses, they don't survive, they don't flourish. So the thing is, you have to realize that there is gonna be a financial crisis. Just look around you, open your eyes. I really do not understand how anybody could argue the point that there isn't something wrong right now. Like I am so observant when I'm driving around the city, I'm constantly scanning buildings, seeing how many are open. And literally, I, I mean, I just have unlimited places that I could go film commercial real estate in this city. And in fact, I passed about five empty buildings up the street there, which had where the signs had been, which I was gonna go film at. I might film at them in a bit, actually. But I'm just gonna head over to this 40,000 square foot facility and film a video there. But it's just insane, guys. I really don't understand how people can argue the point that we're not in some sort of collapse right now but it's a time to really diversify. Just think about what you're gonna do. Just think about, do you have access to cash? Do you have access to resources? Because I honestly believe we live in just changing times where we need to be very, very careful and we need to protect ourselves in every way that we possibly can. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. So from a sunny, beautiful day here in Calgary, I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.